Hi folks, welcome back once again to the World Cup. So, I thought the Israel-Slovenia matchup might be decided by now, but no. It's uh, still only 4-2 with two games remaining. They were supposed to be played uh, at the same time, but the players have agreed to play them back to back so that we can enjoy both of them. And the first one is going to be Great Joy Filthy against Stark Filthy. So Peter and Ariel. And we can have a look at the two decks. So Greyjoy Filthy, very typical. The restricted choice is Asha in this case. And the Balon choice is uh, the, the King one, the one that doesn't deal. Also plays the redesigned uh, Euron and uh, same with Victarion. Um, and the warship package. So I think that's basically all the deck building decisions you, you do in Greyjoy Filthy, right? And the rest is uh, all pretty typical. Uh, the plots, uh, we have uh, two brand builders. Very typical in decks that choose Pike as the restricted card, but uh, useful anywhere, basically. And uh, Nothing Burns, uh, that was, I think, inspired by Alex, who uh, cl very cleverly as always played, we do not sow into Nothing Burns to get something big. There's a draw plot in there, Return to the Fields, Morgulis, and we take Westeros, which wins initiative. Uh, we've seen players just uh, use that without even bothering to put the location in. And uh, the matchup, well, unfortunately Stark Filthy, we saw that uh, uh, in the previous World Cup, which was called Battle of the Nations, uh, was very tough always for Greyjoy, and uh, this version is uh, not very typical. So you can go different ways with Stark Pilt. You can go with Rob as the restricted card, and Renown, you have your Daisy and Fast Eddie, or stuff like that. Or you can go this route with uh, Winter is Coming three times, and uh, uh, some uh, uh, aggro here. We have uh, Bolton Flares that can remove charts. We have the non kneeling Alisane, and uh, the standing Greyjoy, uh, starting with the Withering Cold, which is something Dennis also uh, does with, in his start crossing deck. There's uh, Greywind as well to eat some charts potentially. And this is uh, can be tough to deal with. Okay, Jason to deal with Shadows, uh, not many in the deck. When I played it against Peter in testing, uh, I noticed that uh, there is some anti synergy with Last Heart Scout, so they're not going to bother Greyjoy, but. Uh, they do mess uh, with your mirror read and uh, Bolton Flares uh, occasionally. So uh, that's one thing. Frozen Solid three times, okay. Difficult to get past. Uh, nothing burns with just the three attachments, but it can annoy something like Maiden's Bane, I guess. There's Carhold to stop Balon and Victarion eventually. And um, Winterfell, the economy. And what do we have for plot? So uh, Winter themed. You can see we have the Northern Kips and uh, how many winter plots? Four winter plots and um, or five even and March to follow up those Bolton Flares and uh, also Doheris is here which is uh, as you can imagine annoying for Greyjoy, the perfect reset and uh, Withering Cold annoys them first no not so much but there is also rationing and Winter Festival almost guaranteed or in fact entirely guaranteed to, to hit, right? Yeah, no summer plots. So that's basically the situation. And now let's have a good uh, have a look at the game and uh, well for once we've uh, caught the setup. So All right. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So the Greyjoy deck usually has uh, pretty decent setups. That's been the case from the corset onwards, basically with those Iron Fleet Scouts that are zero cost. You can get uh, five or six more often with this deck than with any other deck, I think, in the game, uh, at least uh, historically. So, um, Stark, we'll see what happens. But there is um, enough Econ to usually get good setups and some small characters as well. And yeah, card in shadows is a bad sign, <laughs> six card setup. Like I said, okay. Ooh, slightly unusual start not uh, surviving first snow very well. So, but yeah, that's a 
would be tricky to play that as, as an opener, right? No negative attachments, so just setting up, setting up sweet sleep on uh, whatever is available also makes complete sense to to do that on setup. So there is a non-nealer here, withering cold, almost guaranteed to win initiative in in round one with Ali Sane going first. Is the play, and then uh, if this is Bolton Flyer, which is uh, highly possible, it could be uh, yeah dealing with the the Grager board pretty nicely, but no. Opening Winter Festival. Okay, that's um, not something I expected. So Withering Cold still to come. And now I guess something, something to do better against First Snow. Here would be nice, so something big. And yeah, the Econ there's a reducer, there's a reducer location, and there is Filthy. I've noticed in this tournament more than any other that players are forgetting to use Filthy. Uh, I forget it myself when I uh, practice uh, Peter using it here. Because um, honestly, since the corset when uh, Barra Nil deck was played out of Barra Filthy, I so rarely played this agenda. Only in Night's Watch did I find uh, use. Uh, yeah, easy to miss, but Peter uh, opens pretty nicely, so Euron with uh, his stand, I don't think there's anything to block that, he has Intimidate, so now the Withering Cold doesn't look so scary. But let's see what Stark does, there's still that annoying potential play, military claim into maybe winter is coming, Bolton Flyer, and suddenly you're on getting marched. That's uh, always can happen, and it's uh, yeah not very fun when it does. But let's see what gets marshaled. Euron could still have uh, has have his way here because uh, if Brenda Builder finds uh, Bane's Bane, then it's uh, pretty annoying to try to defend against him. Although if Mira is in shadows and not Bolton Flair, then his intimidate can get blanked. Hmm. Very useful. Yeah, this icon works out really nicely. So it's um, difficult to guarantee this, uh, unless you're using the old man to give the opponent's plot winter. It's difficult to make this work. That's why it's not seen as much play as some of the other to cost limited locations. But when it does work, it's just uh, yeah, very efficient. It's like a, an underground world basically. And in this deck, it's always to uh, gold and it's a um, nice start. Now we have uh, uh, Arya Stark duped. Deck plays the Harris, doesn't play Morgulis. And Euron gets planked. Okay, so he's not going to intimidate, but he's still going to do the challenges, right? Because he has the stand. Okay, no Bolton Flyers, so no uh, starting to march. And that's um, already better for Peter than uh, the testing games we did just uh, a while back. Although with Withering Cold, she goes back, and then uh, Ali Sane still not kneeling. That could be a good good following round. First now is not happening with, with this chats, right? So playing um withering cold and then uh, worst case you get uh, at least get silence knelt and you're on that aside from that. Hit 
think the draw chad and finding mm, putting great kraken into play finding uh, the hulk with brand builder this comes into play okay what's it going to do so depends on what the, the hand is like right well assuming there will be another unopposed challenge this round which is not guaranteed now this one maybe uh, Arya just tries to block to stop Brand the Builder for a uh, second time but needs uh, yeah it's too much investment right because the Iron Fleet Scout gives it uh, plus two and here comes Maiden's Bane Arian is, so sh she can be saved then. She does uh, stop uh, offensive Morgulis from ever being played though, with her presence. Because everything would die. Well, from ever being played, uh, it guess it could still be played. For instance, if Stark gets the loops or if, if Stark runs out of cards and Greyjoy has a full hand, you could just Morgulis anyway. And now let's see, so Great Kraken draws, does not uh, grab the early power. So um, Peter wants resources to deal with uh, Stark threats for the remainder of the game, doesn't really want the instant power here, even though he's a card over reserve now. But that card lost anyway now. And this, uh, this is a good character sure uh, there were worse cards in hand so Stark is going to take the lead here with Winter Festival in the power but not necessarily on the board and certainly cards in hand a bit weak so let's see the draw options again for Stark here mm. are we losing the reducer or the deck hand here deck hand uh, has to keep at least one raider though keep your on, on uh, intimidate just looking at the plots nothing in the plot deck and uh, there's three amber loyalists one was um, discarded here that and I guess summer can uh, grab an extra card I'm not seeing any other draw which is dangerous Starts with 5 power though. And now do we risk withering cold? We've got a Stark here. Stand location and non kneeler here. Character going back. Potentially even if it's not. <laughs> Said uh, stops Morgulis from ever being played. Just thinking now. If this is not great. You kill all of them including Mira <laughs> kills your Euron but then if you have Balon or something okay let's not that not get crazy but uh, it is a thought and if Greyjoy just holds back a little Arya stays in play and then uh, as always the chance to reset Rationing may be an option to stop Maiden's Bane if there's no other way. Stops you having to 
absolutely oppose everything uh, unless um, you want Euron to go mental in the challenges phase, just intimidating and standing. He can always be blank though. But seven cards could be a fanatic. Yeah, lots to think about here. Stark has uh, had a good round, but uh, now it gets dangerous. And yeah, this is this is pretty decent. Uh, getting rid of the armory hurts the econ. This this will have to kneel now to gain additional gold, and um, losing only the sweet slip and uh, whatever here with the. Yeah, Iron Fleet Scout, not surprising. And who goes first? Mm, Peter goes first. That's even better. So now Euron has to be has to be uh, blanked right by Mira. Otherwise, he's, otherwise he's uh, intimidating Alisain. The other character with Bitter Cold is Grey John Amber. If he wins a military challenge, he stands himself, although works better if he goes first because he has Intimidate as well. Okay, kneeling all the Econ, that will stay knelt, as will the Faction card if it's knelt for a loyal character. If that hurts in the long run. And now, unless uh, Stark can do damage and uh, go into a good march. This is uh, problematic and uh, maybe will force uh, an early to Harris. Asha is a super card here. She can find the answers as well, that's the best thing with her. She can uh, search. Mira can bl blank everything. But still, it's not uh, it's not very safe because uh, if a star gets a military challenge through, kills, for instance, the fishmonger, and then there's a Bolton flare, kills the other guy, and then marched. That's uh, exactly what Stark is trying to achieve, right? So it's not safe. Question is, what does Stark do with the uh, locations? With withering cold, if you kneel all the locations and the faction card, then uh, you are out of uh, econ next round. And what are Stark's options? The five gold winter plots are the norm, but first snow is even weaker. March is only four. The hair is also not great, so. Uh, yeah, well worth making the calculations. I play with uh, withering cold a lot. Uh, obviously, in Baranil, it's uh, it's a great plot, and um, I see players just um, instinctively uh, kneel all the locations, and then they're left with some gold, which is uh, something you really should avoid. So apologies uh, earlier. Of course, I forgot the old gate. This is um, this is a draw location, so that can refill the hand. And now we have grey wind. And uh, he can eat something, but there's no Bolton Flare, so Greywind eats something. There's military claim. Yeah, still still can get a good march out of that, though. You know what would be nice? An eager deckhand in, in hand. Maybe if uh, Asha can grab one. If she's not the one that's blanked, then... Uh, when silence brings in uh, a warship, an eager deckhand coming in would be pretty nice. And a decision to be made because if you don't deal with him, he's going to intimidate. So either uh, you try to pause somewhat or you eat something now before Graven gets knelt, or you just blank him now before the intimidate happens. Whatever it is, it needs uh, it needs doing probably. And 
And you know, if you leave it, it's uh, it's going to be the Maiden's Bane, right? So, yeah. What does she blank? She blanks Euron, but leaves Asha alone. <laughs> doing it before something defends. I think now something has to defend, right? Yeah, Arya has to defend to get rid of her uh, ability potentially. What am I saying? There's no dupes anywhere. Nothing to be saved. And he was standing, so yeah. Didn't really matter if, if it was unopposed in that way. Let's have a look if it matters or not. So we do not sow. We have the faction card net and no gold. That's no longer a threat. And there's no other graduate tricks. No, um, uh, what's the event? That uh, requires you to kneel a warship. Raiding something, I think it's called. Raiding the Bay of Ice, is it? Not in the deck, that's a zero cost. Um, the zero cost event that. Uh, ah, but targets non limited locations, so right, nothing to target. Yeah, expert commentary, as you can see. Uh, real, uh, Specialist in the Grejo and Stark matchup. Know all the cards very well. Piraging Winterfell. There is a. We take Westeros in the deck. Euron can grab it, but uh, it's not great because Stark has a deck full of Winter Plots and Grejo doesn't have much. And now Asha can grab stuff and she can grab. Um, the fanatic, right? If if it's in the top six. Now let's see. Does Greywind eat the Orkmund River? Peter could just oh there's no more um Iron Fleet Scout, sorry. I was gonna say could increase its strength. Now if Greywind kneels and, and gets cancelled, that's a big loss. Forcing uh, Alisane to kneel already a slight victory here for uh, Peter in the long run because Withering Cold will keep stuff knelt. And I think most cards from both players should be knelt, right? Not much you can do. Now, is it worth just. Uh, Leaving this and killing uh, Arya, I don't think so. Let's see what this does. So, choose and stand an attacking character, but then uh, it wouldn't st stand Maiden's Bane, and you would really like to have that standing, right? And he's not a captain. Thinking for a long time about this defense. And defense with three in the end. So I guess Mira is going to try to 
main military against Euron. She can start him and Greywind will take one of the little guys and then you can try to march something. Would not be a winter plot, so Mira would stay in play and everything would be nailed. And you're not in a position to push the advantage, you would you could sack the old gate I guess. And I think this is digging for uh, for the fanatic maybe, because if uh, Graven kneels and gets cancelled, that's a big loss. All right, doing stuff completely differently. So that uh, playing to march is not on Ariel's mind here. It seems just going for unopposed intrigue, and then. What straight military and if he doesn't defend you intimidate him with Greywind. <laughs> yeah, may as well defend if, uh, although if, <laughs> if reason was in hand you could uh, play that to save him and he would have strained pipe and then couldn't be intimidated, that would be magical I think, but yeah, uh, unfortunately not. Okay, so we have everything knelt. And Greyjoy has the card advantage. Stark has more standing Econ available and Stark has Mira maybe going back into shadows and is now ah here we go is now the time to consider first now even she goes back there's two net characters chance to maybe try to kill them I'm not sure Greyjoy would probably like an economy plot doesn't exist. Could play return, but it's dangerous. Could just play counting coppers, get the saves, marshal some something small. Second brand the builder also available. Could play Morghulis, skill everything. Arya's net, so things can be saved. You could save one of the guys if you have a reason. Mira would be killed before escaping, but then you're gambling that there is nothing much. <laughs> okay. Did I mention this to maybe that's the only two plots I didn't mention? Okay, we take Westeros wins initiative. Um, locations to take. You can take Econ, you can take stuff that works on star characters, so that's useless. You can grab your Iron Fleet Scout, but uh, there's no characters to spare, really. The draw even. No characters to spare. So I don't think that plot will even be used. And we have uh, rationing, so that would stop Great Kraken and Maiden's Bane, which is good because if, if Stark doesn't do much, then a uh, single character with Maiden's Bane could be slightly annoying. And yeah, that round just uh, this round just stops it. Okay, but uh, there is enough icon here and cheating a character into play for Peter to do stuff, and he must have characters in hand because he was over reserve and threw the locations out. He is doing well to avoid any potential marched situation. No, the captain either, but needs blanking probably from uh, Mira. Let's see what st the Stark hand is like. Gets a save, all right. Won't help if uh, Arya stands. Mm. 
summer, amber loyalist. Hmm, nothing to take for summer really yet. What can we have? Caitlin. Even Grey John, not too bad. Thinking for some time again, assuming there's no connection problems. I'd like to think that's a good sign for Peter, but uh, not necessary, not necessarily so. You need two gold for Arya. So five to spend on other stuff. And what costs five? Plenty, plenty of stuff does. Bolton flares are playable. The charts, House Mandalay Knights. Ooh, all right. Well, the armory is not that bad, so it can um, stand maybe Alice in for a couple of challenges. And uh, Stark is ahead, so that's a good draw. Is there another character though? Well, Alice and Mira can potentially do all three, but they will be conceding, unless they also pose, they will be conceding something as well, right? Because. Um, we have two characters and oh no no reactions no reactions so no great kraken power and no maiden's bane to stand him so if he if mira just comes out and blanks him that's the thing to do right it's the thing to do before he goes for the military and doesn't kneel for it Yeah. Oh, nightmares, alright. So that keeps her in shadows. Which maybe doesn't even matter that much. It's not like she can be intimidated or anything if she is in play. Um although you might, if the plan is after this round, since we have three graduate bigs in play, if the plan is to play the Harris, that does not return her to shadows. So, if that's the plan, then maybe keeping her there and not bringing her out is also an option. I would still be tempted to get rid of a card before you play the Harris. Taking the dupe, so Arya will stand and uh, Morgul skills everything, but now Greyjoy doesn't want to do that. Keeping Balon standing. I guess to defend Talisane, right? He does still have stealth from the great kraken maybe grabbing that uh, iron gate back was not a bad idea with the deck and you only have two characters and you're spending one but yeah taking that second it to get more cards and the armory doesn't stand the non kneeler it stands uh, grey wind and what is he going to do just passively 
passive attack the river. Now, is there a cancel? No. And now, Mira is not getting past Balon, and you can't kill the deck and into marched. So, if a winter plot is played next round, then I guess she comes out and does intrigue, right? And if the Harris is played, then maybe keep her there and yeah, pass and go for another round. Do you also trigger the old guy though? With the Harris, these give one gold, so you need uh, as much as you can get, but you also need the cards. You can keep three characters though, so not too bad against Greyjoy, is two characters. She comes out. Blank Sasha, okay. And she's going to do the intrigue challenge, right? Yeah, maybe um, getting that Iron Gate would have been. Uh, all right here. Tasha standing in great, great crack and prevented is. Um, ooh, and winter is coming. Okay. Well, that was the penultimate card. <laughs> ah, it's a shame. Would be perfect after the Harris. So yeah, that draw being prevented is um, really strong, and now if the Harris is played, then it's much more difficult for uh, Asha to get her uh, trigger and get Maiden's Bane and stuff like that. So 7-5 in Stark's favor, triggering the gate to get the, the extra cards, Greyjoy is on 2. Complete guesswork what they are, we have no knowledge. Greyjoy goes for a plot immediately. Could be return to the fields. Could be coppers, there's plenty of beacon. Although return means initiative, right? So. What can Stark do though if if uh, it's not the Harris? What's the other option? Barring does nothing, only messes things up. March is not in a good um, spot here. First snow, leaving Grey Wind and Mira in shadows against three guys. Difficult to imagine what the thinking is here. Unless there's connection problems, I think it's <laughs> it's gotta be the Harris. Or does Arya just want to delay it one more round? But then they can do damage, right? They can start the, the draw stuff. Yeah. Playing a turn to win initiative, so now you you keep two characters and you sack you sack two big ones instead of the obvious choice of eager deckhand that you would sack otherwise I think yeah okay keeping Asha she kneels she doesn't have intimidate but her advantage is of course the excellent uh, ability that she has and now Mira is not blanking her Nightmares 1 is gone but 3 are in the deck and I believe no 
one hand's judgment, okay. Now, was anything drawn from these cards? So we have uh, four, five with filthy, six, seven, eight, nine potentially, eleven, eleven gold. Grey wind goes, keeping uh, the numbers, including the no save area. Getting what was just lost back would be pretty good, pretty good start. Yeah. Not too bad, maybe she can find a, a fanatic or a nigger deck and how many are left, let's see. One is in play, one is gone, yeah, maybe. That's, that's far-fetched that she could grab him, but yeah. All three fanatics still available. And she searches top 12 now. And he doesn't need, is, yeah, needs nightmares really. And now Stark is getting only 7 gold plus filthy. Can probably still push military through though. So Bolton Flare into March is still not uh, not out of the question. And earlier when I was uh, speculating, I completely forgot, of course, that uh, Winter is Coming is a thing, so one was just played on the Intrigue Challenge, but you can always uh, you can always play it on the military to completely decimate the board. Yeah, there is a card in Shadows, and uh, I think you need two to bring it out, right? <laughs> one just played, alright. So now it would be nice for uh, Greyjoy not to lose military on defense. Is that possible? I see 10 strength for Stark. And two characters that cannot be bypassed by stealth with an Iron Fleet Scout. So yeah. It's it's completely possible to just defend it, but then you're not doing much, right? He can initiate it without um, worrying, because he uh, he does nil. Let's see, Maiden's Bane needs unopposed though for uh, Asha to stand back. So now I think it's oh, all right, never mind. Lots of stuff happening. And she has Renown now. And he has some kind of ability, right? What's, what does it say? Each loyal, okay, so just himself. Now that Asha is not in, you're going to defend. Let's see if uh, Peter even cares about about defending at this point. Maybe he's just going for it. Forces defenders because of the Great Kraken and Maiden's Bane. And what has she found this time? I would be looking for the fanatic, just just to cancel him. You don't want this trigger, and then it's still March to be played. And military claim, just just cancel it. Keep the board. They they have renown, both of them. Maybe uh, try to trigger the fanatic on Mira next round when she tries to blank Balon or Asha. And now just winning power with uh, the Chad. Keeping Baron standing. 
Missing the Intrigue icon to push that through as well and force another defender. Takes the lead, however Stark can now try to come back. Now do you defend power with him? That loses military against uh, Alisain. He can defend himself on power, gets him now on the defense, but then you're losing unopposed power. Stark also um, doing alright. And now we might even start thinking about game going to time. 40 minutes left and uh, a lot of thinking time. So might be uh, both players getting around 12 and then uh, time is pressing. Let's see. Do we have anything useful? Draw from pillage. Hmm. Would be nice if it happened. This does nothing on defense. This does nothing. And Alison does a military. Alright, with um, Mira as well. So they're going to stab the two chads and either force Balon to defend or, or win this on attack. And. Uh, Faction cards still standing, so could be played into Winter is coming. That would take two characters out, and Bolton Flyer would kill something, so. What's going on now? Have they started the same deck and. Okay, that was uh, unusual. I hope that's not some kind of bug. Looks like maybe Arlen misclicked and, and started the same one, or, or maybe intended to just by best one as a strategy choice. It's a, it's a possibility. She's not winning power against Balon. So Greyjoy will st stay ahead and uh, he will kill Carvin, right? Just because it's a better icon than uh, the deckhands. Is there a fanatic to cancel him? Now, if there is one, you might consider. Uh, letting it go and saving it for Mira because I think stop Mira's blanking effect and then you have uh, Asha and Balon next round is um, is good. What do we have left? We have Coppers, we have another brand, the Builder, and we have Morgulis. So Morgulis is not getting played this game now that uh, Arya is here. So Coppers or brand, the Builder. And copper still leaves enough gold if you draw something like Vitarion, so I think that could be played. And Stark has what left? First snow. Mm, not good for them. Marched to the wall. Okay. Gets rid of one guy. Maybe we can hope for the best. And barring that that locks Mira in shadows. Yeah, Stark. Uh, could do with with another pl very playable plot here. None of the the ones that are left are very inviting here. Peter selects immediately. I think uh, I think he's gone for copper threat. So it's two gold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Plenty if you draw Victorian. Uh, but does it finish? Of course it does. Mira and Shadows, so either two Miras or one Bolton of Flare. Um, don't see anything else that has the Shadow keyword, so. Has to be another Bolton of Flare, right? 
otherwise it would just uh, yeah, leave it. Why? Why would you bother marshalling her into shadows again? And now, if something like Victarion is played, and he has renown as well, as uh, pressure. Now there are two car holds. They won't stop the Great Kraken, but they will stop renown on characters. While there is no winter plot uh, revealed and uh, nothing burns is gone. Ah, sad that nothing big <laughs> came out, but okay. What can you do? Maybe it, at least one of these is uh, the fanatic. What is he going to get? Ooh, okay. Cancelling him. Now, you're safe from Mira this round because of barring. So yeah, fair enough. Just going to take this back or something like that. And uh, that should help if the game goes another round into that first snow. So, and of course it's a very useful icon, power icon. Now this guy does have stealth as well, so difficult for, yeah, there's three stealth. Three stealth, right, and, and three power icons, so that should just be unopposed. Mm. Am I misreading it? I think that would have been unopposed with uh, the chance to... Yeah, but you don't want to do power first because he, he has the non-kneeling military ability as well. And now that we don't have car hold... I'm not liking uh, Stark's chances to pull this out anymore. She wins the challenge. It's not unopposed. She's not standing, but she gets the massive draw and she will get renown. That draw has just taken Victarion or another fanatic, right? It's just searching the almost the entire deck now. So Balon will do military and then it will still be enough to win the power challenge even if it's if there's a chance that it's opposed now. That means uh, Something without a power icon has to be taken for claim. She can't oppose. So it has to be the flyer. We're not fast enough to force Peter to play Morgulis, and I think it's, it doesn't matter anyway. He plays Brand the Builder and gets to 15 before uh, having to play Morgulis, even if he, if it wasn't a timed game. So let's see what Stark can do to try to stall it here into another round. It's possible, just to oppose everything, but then you achieve nothing, and uh, yeah, next round you're left with. Uh, marched and uh, for snow.
Okay, now I think Balon will stealth the last red scouts and drawing from black wind as well, getting rid of one of the car holds. Now they've already grabbed some power, so it's a bit late. But uh, yeah, getting it this round would have helped a lot. Just to pause everything and then not much power is gained by Greyjoy. It's going to start uh, the big guy probably. Start the little one, okay. And still push it through. Wants probably Alison to defend, but I think it will be the other guy. So Balan has renown and there's power clan that's starting. And Stark is out of time. The power on the faction cards is pretty close though. If uh, Stark could get rid of the characters that have power on them, that would have uh, given him a chance here. But uh, time is running out. Round 7 would be Morgulis with... Uh, uh, she's gone. Never mind, she's gone now. Yeah, just to pause this, stop the power gain, winter is coming, but they can be saved now, right? Ah, right, so it's to claim, uh, they can be saved. I assume there is no reason though. Well, this is slightly tricky because now he can kill the river and then March does work. But uh, Asha just uh, searched a bunch, so. Is there a fanatic? There's only one spent. Now, if, uh, if Bannon gets marched. Then it's a different story, right? Because um, the power goes off, and uh, the power on the faction cards is uh, <laughs> has Stark in the lead. Yeah. There was a chance that. Uh, Peter didn't have it, so still interesting, but uh, yeah, it's not saved, it's cancelled. <laughs> the ability is cancelled. Um, that saves him from March, but um, so one, um, one character uh, would survive, let's say that would be Asha uh, against March, and the power would be. 9-9 nine, nine. Oh. Well <laughs> Is there any good reason to risk that and not just play um, Brand the Builder as a Bolton player and uh, Amira here uh, I'm guessing he has a reason right Yeah It's not great. It's not great at all. Why not play... Uh, why not play Brand the Builder? Keep... Uh, Ash and uh, Balon with all of their power. And then uh, play Reasons in the Challenger's face to stop them being killed for military claim if... Uh, if Stark gets in, in the situation. <laughs> uh, here comes. 
comes to the draw. Surely not another fanatic. No, not this time. Okay. Gold is tight though. Can't uh, use both cards from Shadows now. Hopefully stuff comes out. I'm not using the reducers on it. Hmm, either Peter is very confident that he is still going to win from here or is um, uh, slightly disappointed by how this turned out in the, the last round. Now winter is coming. Ah, cancel on it. Winter is coming on the military to kill Asha wins the game. Otherwise, it will be interesting because she has renown and she can do, if, if the board kneels, then Maiden's Bane goes mental, right? But. Uh, Otherwise, she needs to push something through, and she c seems like she can do it on the intrigue challenge. So why not use the reducers and keep gold for the dominance count? No more gold. Okay, no winter is coming. Never mind that. So, yeah, passing here. Let's see what the situation is. Seven for dominance. So, passing here loses dominance and loses the game. Pushing challenges through. Risks Maiden's Bane. Doing um, standing Asha if she wins anything unopposed. If she wins something opposed, she gets renown. Yeah, not easy. I don't think Peter needs to think here, he just needs to wait to see what Ariel does. Yeah, if he does three challenges, let's say he does all three challenges and none of them are opposed, that gets him to 13, right? 13, 8. Then Asha does three back with her renown. That's uh, 13, 11 for her renown and two great Kraken triggers, that's 13, 13, and they're all unopposed. Yeah, so that plan doesn't work. Passing doesn't work, we've established that, so what about just trying to do power? Yeah, but she has that, right, so if you kneel something, then you're bound to concede something unopposed.
no events that can be played. And what do we have here? We have we have silence still. Let's see if there is a warship that can still be put into play. Grey Ghost. What does Iron Victory do? Nothing much. Well, it could gain power in theory. Yeah, so I think I think uh, Greyjoy wins this, right? But I've been surprised before. Although this is an unnecessary stress here that was um, imposed on us with this Mercullis play. If this was um, if this was Brand the Builder and Balon was still in play, I'm sure it, it was game over because uh, Peter had fana the fanatic and had our contriven. There would be a bigger board on the other side with these two coming in, but yeah, whatever. They're not doing anything in the challenges to win the game, right? If uh, the other two players are expecting this, yeah, so the other game will start after this one. It's supposed to start, I guess, uh, already, but that was the plan to play them back to back. I think Ariel knows that there is no way to win if Peter plays optimally, but he can try. Uh, he can try and see if uh, there is some kind of misplay. Yeah, so this should be opposed by the river because he's going to be taken for claim. And here is where where it ends because now uh, now Asha with her stat can get unopposed with Maiden's Bane. Just don't defend this. If Asha defends... Ah, well if Asha defends, it's... Uh, she gains it now on defense, that's 10-9. Then Mira does an unopposed challenge, would be 10-10 and Peter wins dominance, yeah. Even that wins the game for Peter. Just... I don't see a way to lose from here. Just... Uh, not defending and then not doing a challenge back or something like that is, is the only way to lose. Tension would be slightly greater if it wasn't open deck lists. If there was still some kind of surprise possible, but uh, I'm not seeing it. You can check the, the decks in the description of the video to see if you can see it. If Peter was behind, we could be guessing if uh, some kind of uh, silence into Grey Ghost play was. Um, possible, but uh, since Ariel is about to lose, his deck does not have any ambush and he has no gold for shadows and no way to gain gold. 
So what what is in play is uh, what he has, and uh, he's not. Yeah. Elevenite. Just don't do a, a challenge other than power first. <laughs> Oh, okay. Never mind. Now you can do anything first. And should, she should stand with Renault. Is that even... That's even uh, 15, right, with the Great Krakens? That's not even winning on time. It's just... Uh, Triano post three renown and uh, and dominance into great cracks, so gets to seventeen from here with that uh, play on <laughs> on the, the small board, which is quite crazy. Good job that uh, he kept Asha. If this was Balon, wouldn't be so easy. But she is a captain instead. That really was horrendous at the end for the viewers who are uh, obviously biased here as, as a teammate to, uh, <laughs> to see that Morgulis and uh, Balon getting uh, removed from the board. And uh, suddenly that advantage that didn't look like it could be caught was uh, nullified because uh, Stark's power was on the faction card and uh, Great Choice was not. Okay, so looks like the last game will, like the matchup against France, the last game will give us a chance to, to tie the score with Israel but it's not favorable from what I've uh, seen so uh, it will be tough um, I will end the video here because uh, it's much easier for me to upload stuff without editing if I can uh, do it in uh, separate videos so uh, let me end it here and uh, we'll record the other games so hopefully you'll join me for that one as well